Hey boys, welcome back to the channel, and uh, it's going to be a little bit of a special video, a bit of a bit of a different video. Obviously, it's got the theme of the the NRL trading cards, um, but as the title will suggest, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but it, it's going to be something to do with an eBay haul. So for the last for the last few weeks now, I've just been you know going on eBay every every day or so and checking to see if I can snag up any any good deals on some some rare cards. Now, a lot of these a lot of these cards like they're not necessarily worth a lot this first the, the first lot I'm going to show you is not like worth a, a fortune and I got it for like real cheap. I actually just thought these these ones are really cool and I wanted to get them. But some of them I think, you know, I got I got some pretty good deals on some cool cards. So I've just been, you know, I've just been doing that. So it's going to it's going to be at the moment, it's going to be this video and another video because I've got uh, I've got quite a few to show you guys. So we'll get straight into it. I'll put um, on the screen. I'll put up like how much I, I paid for it and then also what they're valued at. Um, obviously, take that with a grain of salt. Like you need to be able to sell it for that much because obviously I bought them for cheaper. So yeah, it is what it is. But let's get into the first little bulk I bought. So we've got here this really cool set of uh, Brisbane Broncos plays as we get it uh, focused there. NRL Special Edition and it's the um, what? I, I actually don't know. I think these are the Traders. Yeah, the 2018 Traders. So, is that right? Yeah, 2018 Traders. So, I these ones, these are a good example of they're not they're not like super rare and like worth a lot, but I I thought they were just a really nice set, and obviously I'm a I'm a Broncos fan, so I thought you know what let's uh, let's get them. I didn't pay much for it as well as uh, you'll see on the screen, but let's go through the plays. They're also just really nice cards. Like they got the um, the silver the silver outline, nicely textured. I mean it's they're just really nice cards, honestly. So Darius Boyd, Matt Gillette. Obviously, unfortunate uh, retirement there. Uh, Josh Maguire, couple of players not at the club anymore. Anthony Milford, they're just dude. They're such nice cards. I really like this um, this set. It's it's just really nice. Uh, Andrew McCulloch, also not at the Broncos anymore. Justin Hodges, we do have some old school players. I love the um, Justin Hodges. Probably my uh, he's one of my favorite players for sure. Hodges, just just love him. Darren Lockyer, Darren Lockyer, absolute legend, future immortal for sure. Corey Parker, definitely have some old school players in here. We have Jack Reed, and also another really unfortunate retirement because Jack Reed was very, very solid for the Broncos, but uh, yeah, shoulder slash neck injury, I think it was like nerve damage. He uh, he had to retire. Unfortunately, big uh, big Dell, big Wendell Sailor in Broncos colors, very very nice. We have Dennis Flannery. I I'll be honest, I actually don't know who this is. Um, obviously, a very old school player. Let's let's have a look at the back here. So, uh, fifteen Test, twenty five interstate matches. Obviously, he's a winger. Yeah, obviously very old school there. Bob Linder. Old school, great to the game. Kevin Walters again. I mean, th dude, this set is just really cool. I was like, you know what? Let's let's grab it. So, yeah, good example of um, not not being extremely valuable, but just a, just a nice set to sort of have in the collection. Honestly, uh, Steve Renoff, Gordon Tallis, the Raging Bull, and uh, big big Petro seven receiver. Finishing off strongly. I mean, that'd be a pretty strong Broncos team for sure. This one, <laughs> this one on the on the on the cards, dude. Very very strong. We'll just um, we'll just chuck those at the back like that. That's that's fine. Um, and then we'll move on to we'll move on to we got some got some cool things to get to. Um, probably the next. Oh, I don't know. The next video maybe better. I'm not too sure. There's some good stuff in both videos, but right here we've got, uh, again, a, a really nice set that um, is worth, not not like a heap, but I did get it for like a, 
uh, you know, like a lot cheaper than what it's what it's worth. Um, so this is the the NRL 2015 traders, and they are the um, the chart toppers or the 2014 chart toppers for this um, for this series. So we'll get to see some uh, some old school sort of who who did what this for the 2014 year. So Jared Hain. Top uh, top try scorer. We'll flip it over. Have a look at the back as well. Uh, we might not actually, honestly. <laughs> um, twenty tries. Oh yeah, we can see it there. Twenty tries. I didn't want to read the whole thing, but Jared Hain. And these these are really nice cards as well. Um, very nice. So 20, 2015 traders. These were. We have the line breaks of uh, of Ben Hunt, Dale Copley, and Jared Hain. Is that Ben Hunt? That's crazy, dude. Ben Hunt was top line line breaks. 18 line breaks. That's crazy, dude. I'm surprised I'm surprised Ben Hunt was up there. Dale Copley obviously had a couple of really good seasons at the Broncos and sort of I mean, he didn't really fall away. He just didn't really get an opportunity at uh, at some point and uh Jared Hain featuring strongly again. <laughs> and then we have our boy Jonathan Thurston top point scorer and I mean this set I just wanted to get as well because it's just a nice little you know momentum to look back on and it's just yeah nice set to look at again um JT point scorer 208 points love to have a JT Michael Morgan in the background there <laughs> Nathan Friend top tackler uh he probably won this quite a few years Nathan Friend he was always he was always up there um <laughs> Just an absolute tackle machine, and he never played um, like in like he was never sort of away. He played pretty much every game every week, so he was always up there for sure. One thousand and eighty-four tackles, dude. And what's that including? Sixty-three tackles in round five against the Sharks, and sixty-one against the Bulldogs in round six. <laughs> oh, geez, one hundred and twenty-four tackles in two weeks. That's that's quite an effort. And then we have minutes played. <laughs> that's that's a bit of a bit of a weird um bit of a weird one they've <laughs> i'm surprised there's only that many players that seems weird um yeah i'm surprised there's only that many players in the in the top minutes but that's that's a weird one <laughs> i'll be honest that's a it's a very strange um award <laughs> And then we have Corey Parker, Offloads, the Offload King. Some of these cards, they are a bit dark. I don't know why the, the photo is like really dark. Corey Parker here. Um, the top offloads, Corey Parker. With 64 offloads, just an absolute gun, Corey Parker. Sammy Burgess, hit-ups. 2014. 458 hit-ups. And then big Sammy Burgess with meters gained as well. That That's... Um, Geez, I'm surprised he got meters gained. Because um, obviously, probably nowadays, yeah, it's, it, I would say it's going to be pretty much all fullbacks. Maybe Tamalolo will be up there, but it's pretty much just fullbacks that are up there for, for meters gained nowadays. But Big Sammy had a stellar year. 4,091 meters gained. Very, very solid. And then uh, Jimmy Maloney. Jimmy Maloney, another retiree here for goals for 2014. 90, 95 goals. So another another very nice, very nice little set here. Just very, very cool. So hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, this little thing. And we got a couple more nice ones to go, but hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we have a quite a nice card that I got for very cheap. <laughs> And he is he's one of my all-time favorite players, one of my all-time favorite players, and it is going to be Roy the Boy Asatasi retirement card. 2013 retirements. Asatasi just an absolute absolute great of the game. He honestly I I I feel like he's a bit underrated because people don't talk about Asatasi when they talk about like the best props in the world, but I mean, he was the best front rower for pretty much the whole time he played, in my opinion. He was ridiculous. <laughs> but Roy Asatazi, um, a beautiful card. I love the retirement cards, dude. And uh, yeah, Roy Asatazi, very, very nice here. Obviously, one of 
one of 16 in this set. Just, uh, just a great card. Roy Asatasi. I saw it. Got the bid late. Great card. Beautiful. Also, one... <laughs> Before I get to the, to the to the last couple of cards, one thing I do want to say, there's this one dude on eBay, I can't remember his username, if I remember it, I'll put it in the description or the comments, but he freaking, he's a, he's a scammer, dude. <laughs> so what happened, the story goes, and I'm actually sort of glad that I didn't actually get it in the end, because, um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell the story. So basically, there was a Roger Tulvasa check, uh, black street art up for auction and I think the starting bid was 199 and I had it on the watch list and then it got to like the end a few seconds left I put a bid in and won the card at 199 and then this freaking dude <laughs> this freaking dude he cancelled he cancelled the order due to like apparently my shipping details were incorrect which is which is wrong he obviously put in a faulty claim because the shipping details are correct and i, I even messaged him calling him out a bit, bit like a piece of shit and he <laughs> even acknowledged and he's like no nah, it's just a smart move bro i'm like you freaking joker so I was, I was very annoyed by that, and I was very worried because this Asatasi card, I won this for obviously very cheap, and this happened like just after this Tuvastashek card, and it took it took almost a week for him to send the card out, and I was like, the whole time, I'm like, he's going to cancel the order because he didn't get the um, the amount he wanted, so yeah, a little bit of off topic, but um, I'll, I'll put his description. I'll put his uh, username in the, the in the comments. So if you see him on eBay, don't uh, don't purchase from him. And I guess the one thing, he's not. You know, if 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 he gets the right amount for the card, he'll send it out. But if he gets too low for it, he'll he'll cancel it. Which is, it's not. <laughs> it's against eBay. So. Um, yeah, a little, a little bit of, a little bit of tidbit for you guys. But um, next up, we have something very, very cool. I was, I was very happy to win this. A um, couple of very nice cards, and these ones, they are worth quite a bit. One of them is actually worth quite a bit more, which I was surprised about. And uh, I paid, I paid a decent amount. Like I said, I'll put in the, put it, I'll put it up how much I paid. But I paid like, you know, a decent amount. But for what it's worth, it was definitely um, a good little pickup. So first up, we have 2009 Premiership Predictor, NRL 2009 Select Classic, um, St. George Illawarra Dragons 2009 Predictor. Now, I don't know why <laughs> it's got the hole punch down the bottom left. I have no idea why, um, but, you know... I don't I don't really care. Maybe maybe they like I don't know. Maybe it got a hole punch because they they because obviously when you have the predictor and they win the comp, you can like send it away for something. Maybe that that's why it's got the hole punch, but I'm not too sure. Um but it's a very nice card in in great condition other than the hole punch. <laughs> and then on the flip side, we have which this one is actually worth quite a bit more. Top try scorer Brett Morris, NRL Select 2009 Classic, um, which, uh, again, is a very nice card. I will take it out of the hard case here, take him out nice and gently here, but, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a Dragon supporter, but I was like, these, these are just, these are nice cards, dude. So, show off the, uh, the Brett Morris one. Yeah, it's, it's, this one's actually worth, like, a, quite a bit, um, I, I do love the card, like the <laughs> the gold stars and everything else. Obviously, the dragons won the comp in 2009. That's probably why it's it's worth more potentially. Um, look on the back here. Is it the um? I don't even know if it's the traders, like the NRL traders, or if the NRL select was like a old school. It probably was like an old school the NRL select um series so yeah very very nice card brett morris there and then the uh the dragons predictor 2009 they won the comp i mean you know had to pick it up again this is a really nice card 
I think oh, a little bit of, a little bit of damage up the top there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Doesn't really show up, but there's a little bit of a little bit of damage up the top there. But you know, I'm I'm not I'm not really planning to resell them. <laughs> um, maybe one day, but not not like I'm trying to, I'm not trying to like flip them or anything. Um, but this is really nice. Obviously, the new the new Premiership predictors are a little bit more flashy. But um, yeah, an old school Premiership predictor here. Very, very cool. Um, does it have... I wonder if these were limited as well, like the... Um, what does it say there? I don't know, it doesn't really... I don't know. It, it might be limited, but does, maybe I just missed it. But uh, yeah, there's, there's our first eBay haul. Um... Like I said, some of these were just, I picked them up because I liked them. Others were just, they were good deals. And yeah, I'm pretty happy. So hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, this type of video. Because I, I honestly, dude, I'm always on eBay. Just trying to, sc just trying to scrounge for deals. So I, I'm going to keep uploading the videos when I get new stuff in. And I do have another video coming out pretty much straight away after this one with uh with part two with the rest of the cards so stay tuned for that make sure to like and comment and i will see you guys in the next one